So today I'll be filming a makeup look. Firstly, I am cleaning my brushes. I'm using an alcohol makeup removing wipe to get all the bacteria and germs off it. So now I am wiping her face down with a makeup wipe, spraying her face, getting it primed and prepped and starting her foundation. Okay, so now that I've finished all of her foundation, I'm going to go in with my concealer. Um, uh, today I'm using Born This Way by Too Faced. Um, I find this concealer really good because it completely takes away any dark circles that she has. She's quite young, so she doesn't have too many. So that's really good. Um, I'm also going to use this to sort of highlight her best assets. I'm using two tones. So one's more beige and will suit her skin tone and one's more paler so it can highlight her beautiful features. So precious. What I also love about this concealer that is completely waterproof and it will last the whole night, especially after you set it with powder. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to contouring her face. Um, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour stick. Um, I'm going to put this just above her cheekbone because she has more of a oval sort of face that sort of goes down into a triangle. Um, I'm going to use this higher to create more of a sharper cheekbone effect. I'm also going to put a little bit on the side of her nose and some on her forehead and some on her jawline just to create more of a structured face look. It was such a key element to any glam makeup look, it really can sculpt and change the way the face looks. This product, Anastasia Beverly Hills, is fantastic because it will not move and it will stay on the face all night for when you're partying hard. Hey guys, next I'm going to powder and bronze and highlight her face. I'm going to do this during the time lapse. Now I'm going to be doing her eyes. I'm cleaning all the eyeshadows before I use them. Make love once more, we rest and I'm cold. You that 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 break you off and you pick that cat. Never seen no one this gorgeous. Pay your whole damn mortgage. But when you look at the time, hey. For our eye look, I've decided to do a brown Ramoni sort of colour. I've done a cut crease and I've added a gold shimmer. So precious is yours, is mine. And look at the time. My God. So precious is yours. I'm going to be using my Max Fix Plus Pro setting spray. So now I'm going to do her lipstick. So this is what her look looks like so far. Her formal glam, um, I'm still to do eyeliner and put lashes on, but so far our cut crease is looking very defined and her contour and highlight and concealer look amazing. So precious is yours, is mine. So this is it, this is the final look, um, including lashes and a winged eyeliner. I feel like this look is perfect for a formal. Um, her contour, her concealer and her setting spray will really help her look stand out. Her contour will define her cheekbones and all her great assets and her concealer will hide any blemishes or dark under eye circles and her setting spray, well, it will keep everything in place. Thank you for watching. You can open your palm, waiting to catch a break. The cards are far where they may. And what about me? 
Also, just a quick reminder that you should wash your hands before and after every time you apply makeup on someone else and even yourself to get all the germs and bacteria off your hands. Also, just another huge thing is to make sure that you wash your brushes after every makeup application. You don't want to cross-contaminate or have bacteria sitting in your brushes. This is a very common common and important step to every makeup routine brushes must be clean so you're not putting any bacteria onto someone else's face this is really important so your skin stays as clean and good as possible